Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install KSM-440BAM in your Sony PS1, which is the slim model of the PlayStation 1. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn off your power. Uh, you want to make sure that there is not a disk in your drive. It's not. You can flip your unit over. Now there are six screws that you will need to remove. I've already done that. You'll need a uh, Phillips head screwdriver for that. Go ahead and remove the top part of the case. And we have our CD-ROM drive. So this is where the uh, CD-ROM's data cable connects to the motherboard. Flat flex cables, just gently pull it out. Um, they can damage easily, so uh, be sure not to put, not to use too much force. <clears throat> so now we can pick pick our drive up. You'll see here that there is a power cable connected to the drive. Now what I like to do is I like to put my thumb on this little green printed circuit board uh, just to give it some extra stability. Then grab your uh, power power connector and just gently but firmly pull it out. Now you'll note that there are these three plastic dowels uh, sticking out of the uh, the heat shield. Um, so that. Those correspond with these three rubber boots on the CD-ROM drive. And so what you do is, is you actually, uh, when you place it on the on there, just make sure that the, the dowels go through the rubber boot and you can see there. So now you'll take your new drive. I'm just going to reuse this existing drive because this existing drive still works. You will go ahead and actually first you want to uh, connect the power cable. There's only one way that this power cable will connect. Uh, so you don't need to worry about connecting it in the wrong orientation. Now you're going to want to uh, grab your flat flex data cable and you're going to want to insert it into this uh, flat flex connector. Put it in there nice and good. Put the uh, rubber feet correctly. You can see little plastic parts sticking through and our new drive is connected game in and test it now the jack button on this is a little Now you're going to want to, uh, before you test it, you're going to want to screw, put the screws back in, or you can just gently push down on both sides so that the uh, the top lid is on firmly, and that just makes sure that the, um, the, the safety switch that tells PlayStation that the, the drive lid is down is depressed. So we'll go ahead our PlayStation on. And it's read the security code indicating that this is a North American disk.
and the game is now loading. Well, it's that simple. Now, of course, you will want to test this uh, with games that have uh, FMV sequences. Uh, that way you can make sure that there's no stuttering. If there is stuttering, uh, that does occasionally happen with the new drives. Uh, you just need to tweak up your um, trim pot on the drive uh, just ever so slightly. Uh, you don't want to tweak it up too far, otherwise you'll risk uh, damaging the drive or your PlayStation. And of course you also want to test it with multiple games uh, just to make sure that it can uh, read them. Well, that's it.